I am Lieutenant Commander Nevin Yazaji. I'm the infection control nurse uh, on the ship. Uh, I help with education and implementation of policies as they change uh, to the mission. So we're very lucky to have uh, supplies on board that help keep us safe. And so um, we are wearing uh, all of the required PPE uh, that we need to treat these patients. And so um, we're able to do that safely with what we have. For standard patient care, we have uh, everything that we need for our standard precautions. So we have gloves, gowns, face masks, uh, face shields if we need them. So what I think is really amazing uh, is that once we became a COVID positive mission, that um, we were really able to standardize and, and move the ship and the policies and procedures forward in a way that um, we could consistently deliver safe care. And so once we had um, a unified mission, uh, we were able to put in engineering controls as well as environmental controls to keep us safe. And so we've really been able to very quickly standardize. Um, with the PPE, we are able to set up stations both outside and inside direct patient care spaces. So every patient is screened uh, and or tested before they come on the ship and then they get appropriately assigned to uh, a ward or unit uh, depending on their results. And we continually to screen and monitor our patients as they're on board and if they were to develop signs or symptoms of COVID, we retest and then uh, move them to the appropriate location on the ship. Uh, right now what's really great on the ship is that we're always practicing precautions of wearing a face mask and hand washing before and after everything we do. And we've really seen that that has made a significant uh, impact on our rates of um, transmission of a virus or any, any other type of illness. Uh, being able to wear our PPE, I mean, for anybody who's taking care of a positive COVID patient, if you're wearing the proper PPE, it's not considered an exposure because you are able to protect yourself. And uh, we're very lucky that we have those things here uh, to do that. So my day, uh, it's different every day, uh, especially because this is a new mission, never been done before, and being on a ship. And so we're still trying to figure it out. Luckily, very quickly, we developed an infection control team that includes myself, an infectious disease physician, Oc Health, and preventative medicine. And so we've been coming together, meeting every morning, and um, kind of moving forward with whatever um, we feel needs immediate attention, immediate attention of that day. In the beginning, it involved a lot of education. Uh, now we're trying to put in some written policy uh, for the staff to follow, and then um, with our new staff members on board, it's re-education and continuing to streamline uh, our current workflow that we've been doing for about the last week, week and a half. Luckily on this ship, we have uh, great internet access, and so I'm able to check all of the recent guidelines, whether it's CDC, uh, APIC, which is um, Association for Invention Preventionists um, and just finding the most recent literature to support things that we can implement here on the ship. And so oftentimes I'll wake up in the morning, um, check for any updates, uh, go down to the clinical spaces, especially the ICU. Uh, right now the um, critical care team is where a lot of our focus is because they have the most patients and they're very critical. So trying to figure out how we can adapt the ship, which was designed for wartime and young Marines into, um, into a place where we can care for patients who require uh, long-term medical care. And um, you know, with this virus, we have to be very careful about how we can put on our personal protective equipment and when and where we can take it off. And so every day we've been slowly adjusting uh, our protocols and placement of those things. And so trying to implement um, you know, all of our N95 respirators, we're using them for an entire shift and trying to figure out the best way to store them. So they need to be in a brown paper bag. So before we were putting them on tables and now we have them taped up to the wall like a little personal cubby and uh, the staff seem to enjoy that because it also offers a little personal touch, which is something that I think they've been looking for um, with all of this change. Uh, so the second I found out this mission was <laughs> being activated, whether it was COVID or not, I knew we were in a COVID situation. And so um, immediately I went to probably a small state of shock. <laughs> I signed up for a $1,500 APIC uh, infection preventionist course and immediately started self-educating myself. Uh, and then um, I came aboard the ship and luckily we had really great team members and we came together very quickly. Uh, and what was nice too was that most of us come from um, other healthcare facilities where we were already transitioning into caring 
uh, and turning into COVID um, missions ourselves. And so we were able to still implement a lot of those practices here on the ship uh, because some of the designs are similar.